Hey guys, it's Bailey. Welcome back to the channel and thanks so much for tuning in. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about and reviewing the new Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder Glow. They've had the original out for a couple of years at this point, I think, but I believe before the recent VIB appreciation sale, this, the Glow Powder launched and I was immediately intrigued and so during the sale picked this up because I have found that I really like glowy setting powders. In fact, I decluttered the original Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder months ago. Ago because I just found that I prefer something that gives me a little bit more glow, specifically the Lancome Absolute Powder. So I thought in addition to reviewing this guy, I would also compare it to these in case you find yourself in the same boat. On paper to me, it looked like they, they accomplished the same sort of thing. So I thought a comparison would help so that if you like powders like this, like me, you'll know how they compare. Do you need them both? Do you only need one? Is one better than the other? You get the idea. We're gonna be covering it all here today. So let's go ahead and dive in. First, let's start with the nitty gritty detail. The Glow Powder from Laura Mercier retails for $38, just like the original does currently. And you get almost, you get 29 grams of product, so almost 30 grams of product. And not to get into the comparison too early, but I feel like it's super important to point this out early on. I did not realize how little product you get in Lancome's Absolute Powder by comparison. Lancome retails for almost 60, is it $60? Let me just double check here, right? It is $58, so almost $60 for this guy, and you get a third of the product. You get 10 grams of product in here versus the near 30 that you get in the Laura Mercier. So three times the product for $20 less. That like blew my mind. Just like with the original loose powder from Laura Mercier, this glow collection has two shades as well. I picked up translucent, which they recommend for fair to light skin tones, and then they have one for medium deep skin tones as well. Also like the original, they say this is supposed to set and lock in your makeup for up to 12 hours. But of course with that pearly glowy finish, or they say glowy finish, but it's done with, like it's infused with pearl pigments or something to that effect. It's been a pretty long time since I've used the original formula, obviously, since I don't have it in my collection anymore. So it's hard for me to compare the two based on memory alone, but I will say I do really like the formula of the glow powder. It does a good job at setting my makeup. As long as I like the foundation, I say that because the few foundations that I've tried this with, I've had different experiences, and what it comes down to is whether or not the foundation is right for me and less the powder. For example, I tried this over the ColourPop No Filter Foundation, and spoiler alert, I'm about to come out with a top and bottom ColourPop products. This is in the bottom. It's just not a foundation that looks good or wears well on me. And so really, whether I wore it without powder, with different powder, with the uh, Laura Mercier powder, it just didn't work well for me. And so I don't blame the powder, I blame the foundation. However, today I am wearing it over the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Makeup. And this is a foundation that for me, worn alone, is just, it gets too dewy. I need something to set it, but I didn't want anything that would take away the natural look Lumin, lumin, uh, what's the word? Luminosity, illumination, glowy. I didn't want a powder to take away the glowy effect that is built into this foundation, which is why I reached for glowier, more illuminating powders to set it with. That's what I'm wearing today is the combination of these two and I really, really love it. Just like it says it will and like the original formula claims to, too, with the light dusting all over the face, it just sets your makeup in place really nicely and helps it last intact without kind of breaking apart or developing excess shine throughout the day. And yet, and this is why I just love illuminating powders in general, you still maintain glow in all the right places. As a combo skin girl, I find that I actually like the glow in my T-zone. It's just when it gets excessive and it starts breaking apart my makeup and I have that makeup meltdown moment at the end of the day that I'm not so appreciative of. So this is what I like to use or just glowy powders in general are what I like to use to maintain the glow, but keep it under control if you know what I'm saying. The one thing I want to caution you about though is the nature of the glow in this powder, I guess. It's a really strong golden undertone and I noticed it especially when I compared it side by side to my Lancome powders. I have really been um, loving at the Absolute Paste shade, which is no longer available, I now found out after kind of researching and comparing the two products. This shade is no longer available, however Absolute Golden is, and ironically, I mentioned this when I reviewed these two way back in the day, I think the shade's name should be totally swapped here because Peche is more of a golden, it's more comparable to the Laura Mercier in my opinion, whereas golden is almost like a blush or a rosy tone. I don't know, I don't understand the logic, but I'll do some swatches to compare them here and just know 
I don't think it makes sense either. Anywho, as I was doing that comparison between the Lancome and the Laura Mercier, it became really apparent really fast that the Laura Mercier just had a much stronger golden undertone to it, whereas the Lancome didn't. And I initially thought it would be reversed just because the Laura Mercier says it's gonna be translucent and the Lancome, they actually have a ton of different shades uh, for undertones or different lighting effects you're looking for in your powders. Instead, it turns out that the Lancome powders by comparison have more of a general like true pearlescent glow about them. Like there's something in common that both of these have where they just have just a general illuminating glow about them. Whereas the Laura Mercier, it looks gold. I mean, it just definitely looks gold on the skin. And I don't think that's going to be for everyone, even if you do like an illuminating setting powder, just because it might not be universally flattering across those with cooler or neutral undertones. I can't say that for sure. I personally have a neutral undertone and I have a little bit of wiggle room in either way. But if you're like a true cool, toned skin tone wearing you know setting your face with something that is more of a true warm tone gold might not sit well. As with a lot of things I talk about here on the channel, if you're interested in the Laura Mercier powder, I recommend you go in store to try it out just to make sure you're really going to like it on your skin tone and also to make sure that you're going to like this amount of glow and shimmer all over your face. I was reading the Sephora reviews before making this video and some people said like this is more of a strobing powder for them and I agree if you apply it too heavily, it's definitely a borderline highlight. Like on some days I have gone without highlight. In fact, today I'm not wearing highlight. I'm literally just wearing one of my nude sticks as blush. I'm not wearing contour, not wearing highlight. All of this glow is from a combination of my foundation and this powder. And so as a result, I think a lot of people view this less as a setting powder because it is too high shine shimmery, especially if you layer it on heavily. But I think with light dusting, it gives you the perfect amount of setting power and the perfect amount of strategically placed glow throughout your face. It just depends on how you like to wear your setting powder, whether or not this undertone is for you. And again, it's easiest to find that all out if you go try it on in store. But overall, I really like this Laura Mercier setting powder and especially knowing how much cheaper it is per gram than the Lancome and also now knowing that I can't get my favorite shade of Lancome anymore. This is, this is gonna be it for me. It's my new setting powder. So there you have it. That's my review of it. I really hope it was helpful. If I left anything out, if you still have any questions, let me know down in the comments and I'll do my best to try and answer them. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will catch you in the next video. Bye guys.